Lagos, Nigeria, Africa, beautiful people. Welcome to another edition of your talk show, Impact Formula, with your host, Ike Wachiko. Analysis of our society's diaries segment is on today's menu, and our topic today says um, challenges of Nigerian female actress. With me in the studio to dissect this topic is Adora Chiedu Olivia Ifezbe. Many names, huh? <laughs> she Many is names. one of the ace actress in Husbands of Lagos. Amazingly, also a web designer, and she used to co-own a magazine called Brand Essence. Am I correct? You're right. Adora, you are welcome to our talk show. Thank you. Um, do I welcome you or do you welcome me? We're actually <laughs> in um, yours studio. So who is welcoming who now? Um, we're both welcomed. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, you welcome me to the studio. I welcome you to my talk show. Oh yeah. Okay, fine. You're welcome to the studio. You're welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Um, before I start, can a woman tell when a man is chosen her? I can. I don't know about other women. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now, am I interested in you? <laughs> <laughs> you're not meant to be interested in me, but um, uh, you're not meant to be interested uh, in me, but. Um, and what? <laughs> Good. Let's keep. Let's keep. Okay, um, challenges of the Nigerian female actress with Adora Ifezo. Let me start with this. How long have you been an actress? Um, started in 2012 but 2012 was my first tv um tv show but i already started from school on stage work in um high school school, school, university university. i went to baka world university and i worked theater arts for a bit and i worked under um ennis toby i worked under shongo and um solomon nakali we had done, um, they had directed one or two stage plays that I took. One in school, right? Yes. Okay. okay. Impressive. Okay, um, what was your first acting experience like? Mm-hmm. You're shy, you yeah, were yeah, what? <laughs> no, okay, um, first time, first time, I go back to first time when I was on stage. I wouldn't say first time on TV because okay, okay. I didn't have any reason to be shy on TV. Okay, Nobody could see me at that point in time. But um, on stage, yes. I was a bit shy because it was in school and we had a lot of students around <laughs> and um, they would pass comments and throw water at you and all of that. So um, I was a bit nervous. I had, I had a bit of a stage fright. Oh, really? but, yeah, but after I had the first show, by the time we were having the second show, I was that was good to go. Impressive, impressive. Mm-hmm. Now, um, you are prominent in the series Husbands of Lagos. What was the build up to your role in Husbands of Lagos? How was it like? Tell me. What's that in your eyes? <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me, talk about it in my eyes. Okay. Um, Husbands of Lagos. I, I, I was never at the audition for okay. Husbands of Lagos. Okay. I, was in a, I wasn't even in the season one. Um, I had I had my friend call me up, a friend of mine from Obafemi University. Okay. She's um, a, one of the producers. The other students is coming, okay. and she had called me up this early morning, about three thirty a.m., to say, "Girl, um, that reminds me, you you've got an accent, and we need you on the set." And I was like, "Okay, what is it about?" And she said, "Just just get here mm. so that you can." get work started and I was like, okay, fine. I didn't have anything to do with that very day, so I took off. Really? And I got there okay. and everybody was impressed and so I got it. Beautiful. On the job. Beautiful. And, uh, beautiful. Now, um, having gone through all this, right? We began and all that. Now, let me ask you, the reason for this interview, what are the challenges of the female Nigerian actress? I know that many. I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. Um, I don't speak for people. I speak for myself. Okay. Because we all have different. Um, everybody has to face different challenges in their life, and on basing what they 
want to do. Okay. I haven't had any specific um, challenge with my job, except for sometimes um, I have to switch between. I have to switch between my accents. <laughs> I have to switch, and it, um, sometimes it gets a bit difficult for me, but I try. Okay. But um, outside that, I haven't had any major challenges, even though in life is either you're going into one or you're coming out of one. Definitely. But with my job, I haven't had Definitely. any kind of challenge that I've not been able to face. Okay, let, let me now the question. Have you experienced any rivalry, right, in your field with your female colleague, your Edis Marlin, or male counterparts? If yes, how did you handle it? No. Really? No, I'll tell you. I'm always at the right place at the right time. I don't go where I'm not needed. I go to places where I'm celebrated. Mm. And so because I go to places where I'm celebrated, I don't get to get those challenges coming, even though I know that as time goes on in the industry, definitely they will come. Mm. But right now, you know, they have it. My footsteps have been over. Pause. Why am I not believing you? It's too comic, honestly. <laughs> are you saying, are you saying, with your history of um, acting, right? Yeah. You haven't encountered any rivalry, you haven't had any challenge, blah, blah, blah. I want to learn from you. Tell no, me. that's because, um, okay, that's because most times I'm being picked for the role that just best suits me and nobody's coming after it. Hmm. So most times I'm acting as me, who I am. Oh, really? I'm not trying to be somebody. Okay. So nobody is fighting for me. It just comes naturally. And if it comes naturally, then it belongs to me. <laughs> That's how it works. So until I get to that part where I have to start trying to be like somebody, and then someone else is better at it, then the, becomes, then the rivalry thing comes in. Making sense. So right now, I am me. I'm giving the roles to see me. On that premise. I can. Yeah. Okay, now the name of my talk show is Impact Forward, right? Mm -hmm. Now, having been an actress in Nigeria for X amount of years, mm -hmm. how have you been of impact? Well, I tell people to um, take the good side of me and leave the bad. Okay. I've got my side. good side, I've got my bad. Yes, I have a bad side. A I very have, terrible side. A very terrible <laughs> side. <laughs> but I say to people, take my good side. And leave my bad side, and then um, basically I basically I work with kids, mm. so I try to move my impact on the kids. I have a thing for kids, and um, spending a little time with a kid, I can tell you this is what I think this kid is good at, and I can take my time out to want to bring the kid to you know meet up with whatever it is, talent-wise and all of that. Um, especially when it comes to singing, swimming, dancing, I'm good at that. So I take it upon myself to find time to train and help the child grow in it, right? Uh, for the adults, I just feel that like you're wise enough to know what's good and what's bad. So take my good side and leave my bad <laughs> side. And then I can take it. Okay, Adora, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Still to come, our guest gets to provide answers to questions of the day, gets to vent about something, and also our quote of the day is coming up. Adam, Terry is telling me you are taking us on our day. Three, two, one, action. Be right back. Don't go anywhere. We're here. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. Thank you. <laughs>